What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're about to take a look at the easiest way to install your third party launchers like Battle.net, Epic, and others to your Steam Deck. It's very easy now with some really cool software from GitHub that we're gonna take a look at. And huge shout out to Steam Deck Gaming, the SDD channel. Over on YouTube, we work together often behind the scenes talking about a lot of different things and he's really helped keep me in the loop with what's been happening with this software. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into it. We need to do this starting from desktop mode, so let's go ahead and get switched over to there now. All right, now that you're in desktop mode, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and use your favorite browser, whatever works for you here. And you're gonna to wanna to go to the non-Steam launchers on Steam Deck GitHub here. Huge shout out to them for some great work on this as it has worked flawlessly for me for these launchers on my Steam Deck. So make sure you support them in any way that you can. Now I'll have the link for this in the description as well. You're gonna to wanna to click releases over there on the right and you'll see the top latest release right here. We're gonna to click to download the source code. And once we download that, we'll be pretty much done in here until we come back to the browser and I'll show you some stuff later for your artwork. So once I've downloaded that, I'm gonna go into my Dolphin Explorer files here, go into downloads and you'll see I have my non-Steam launchers download right here. I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna click extract archive here. Click here, all right. Once we do that, it'll very quickly make us a folder here for our non-Steam Launcher software. We're gonna open that up, and then we have our file right here that we wanna run. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click that and execute. We're gonna run this, and it'll open up pretty quickly for us. Now here's our list of launchers. You have a load of them, your most popular ones up top, and then towards the bottom here, and you've got Rockstar, Humble, Amazon, EA, GOG, and all those. I'm gonna go ahead and just select the four main ones I need to grab for right now with um, Uplay, which is Ubisoft, um, EA app, Origin's been discontinued, uh, Epic Games, and Battle.net. The other ones I'm gonna uncheck for now, and we'll just start with these four here. Now if you look at the bottom, you'll see you have a Start Fresh tab, and if you wanted to delete these, the software will do that for you as well. So you could click Start Fresh and it would take those out. You can also move to SD card. So some other useful features that I won't necessarily show in the video, but that you can get to. And the Start Fresh for deleting those is really handy. I would recommend uninstalling any games first that you have installed and then running that though. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and deal with Proton for me here because it does need to use a version of GE Proton to install these, but we're not gonna use that on down the road. So I'm gonna fast forward here. You're gonna see it installing everything automatically. It did GE Proton, it's doing Battle.net, Epic, all of that. You'll see stuff open up. I'm fast forwarding here like 10 times just to get through this quickly so you guys can see this happen, but this took quite a few minutes for me to actually get through. Now, once I did get to the end and everything was installed, you get your little OK question uh, right here that you're gonna have to click on. Now, before I clicked it though, EA tried to open, which we don't want that yet. We don't wanna log in here yet with this. So I closed that out and then I just clicked OK and then we're good to go. This is gonna go ahead and restart Steam for us so that everything will then be applied. Now that Steam is restarted, you can see we now have Battle.net over here. We're gonna have our EA app over here. We're gonna have Epic. And of course, we're gonna have the Ubisoft Connect app. So it's automatically installed all of those for us and it's automatically added those to Steam for us, which is awesome. But what I'm gonna do is finish everything else here from desktop mode as well. It's just easier for me. So I'm gonna go into properties, compatibility, and I'm gonna force experimental for all four launchers that I've installed. Experimental, I believe has eight wrapped into it and it's the only one that works for the EA app and it works well for the others as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, do this for all four of the launchers that I have in here. I'm gonna change their compatibility and force that to experimental for all of them. Now, after I go through and do that for all of those, I'm also going to launch them and log into them and that type of thing. But let me go ahead and finish this up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and skip past the rest of them, but I wanted you guys to see the process here. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and actually open all four of these one at a time, let them update, do whatever they need to do now that they're running the proper compatibility and log into each one. That way, by the time I get back over to game mode, I've already done this harder process of going through, getting logged in, getting verification codes, all that kind of stuff, and then putting them. And I have a mouse and keyboard here, so it's easier. Now, once I have all those ready to go, there is something else I like to do in each app as well and that's go into the settings and make it to where it's not going to automatically try to launch when the computer starts and that if i close the app it doesn't just try to minimize somewhere it actually closes that's just something i like to do to each one usually these apps have those uh, options in them usually the launchers will have those options and make sure anything for cloud saves is turned on as well just in case and now that I've done that to all four of my launchers, they're all on force compatibility experimental. I've opened each one and logged in. I've checked my settings and they're all good to go. 
We're almost ready to go back to game mode, but if you want to add custom artwork and you don't have Decky Loader already, I'll put a link to this as well in the description, and I have a full tutorial video or a couple of them on the channel as well. But we're going to go through this here really quickly also for those of you that just want to know now how to do this. You go over to this website and just click download right here for Decky Loader. It's very quick and easy. And we're going to go ahead and close the browser once that's done. I'm going to go ahead and close Steam here or minimize. I'm going to open up my uh, Dolphin folder again here, and I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. And that's where Decky Loader is going to be at. And we're going to go ahead and open up Decky Loader and run it. Now, I'm going to let it run into an issue here so that I can show you how to fix it. So I'm going to click Execute and Continue. And then it's going to ask for a password that I've not set up yet. I haven't set up my sudo or my Steam Deck user password on the Steam Deck yet. So I'm going to click No. If you already have a password set up, that's where you'll be prompted to enter it. I'm going to go here to my settings and to users and you'll see here as for our Steam Deck user right here, change password. I click that and it's going to let me make my password. So I'm going to go ahead and use something I use on all my Steam Deck so I never forget it. Click set password and we're done. Now I'm going to go back in and run Decky Loader Installer again and this time it'll just ask for that password. Now we'll be good to go. We'll go ahead and stick the password in here. Click OK. Decky Loader is going to ask you for release or pre-release. Just click release. Click OK and it's a very quick process for it to install and then you'll be able to tweak everything from game mode. All right, so that install is finished up. We'll click OK. We'll close out of this. And now all of our desktop mode stuff is done. Everything else we want to do can be done from game mode. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and get switched back over to game mode where we can finish up and make things look nice over there with our artwork and make sure everything's running just fine. So now that we're back in game mode, you can see here, there's all four launchers we installed. Of course, they don't have any artwork or anything like that yet, but they are four non-Steam games here that'll show up and ready to run. Now, you could, of course, use them like this, and you don't have to have Decky Loader, but I like Decky Loader for a lot of different things. We're going to concentrate more specifically here on just the um, the, the grid for the artwork. But uh, in Decky Loader, there's a lot of different plugins that you can grab that make your deck experience a lot better, and I have other videos on that on the channel. But let's concentrate on going in here to the store and going all the way down to Steam Grid DB. This is what allows us to change artwork for all of our shortcuts and games. So we'll install that really quickly. It doesn't take very long. And there aren't really any options you need to worry about here. There's a little tutorial you can look at, some tab settings and stuff like that. But now that we have that installed, I can go over to these non-Steam games and hit the Start button and you'll see Change Artwork. Now you're gonna be able to go in and easily change the artwork for these. Pick your capsule pick your wide capsule, your hero, your logo, and your icon. You'll be able to manage all of these at any time, change them at any time. When you do your icon, you'll be prompted to restart your Steam Deck. Now, I'm not going to do that right away because I'm going to go ahead and do all four launchers, and then I'm going to restart one time and have them all applied. So I'll go through here and finish up Battle.net. You can see just go through each one, pick whichever one you like, whatever lo looks nice that you want to go with. Now there's that restart problem. I'm going to click later, go finish my other three, and then we'll do a restart. All right, now that we've done that, I've restarted. All four have their artwork that I've chosen in here and are good to go. I've had them all logged in, of course, from desktop mode. I know they work. You can see in properties now, we have our little icons. And uh, it's nice and neat and tidy. So we've got all of our launchers. This is a super easy way to get set up, um, get them installed and get your artwork in. Now I'm going to open up Battle.net really quickly here. I do want to talk about the controller setup just a little bit as well. But going into to Battle.net, I'm going to go ahead and check out the server slam. So I'm going to install Diablo again here. It's been running really well on the deck, so I think I'll take a look at it again. But no problems here installing. I'm doing everything on the SSD. There are other ways to get around and do things on the uh, SD cards as well. Um, but for me on this, everything's just running off of the internal uh, 1 gig SSD I have. So that's installing there and everything is gonna be good to go. But I wanna jump over to the EA app real quick here because this one I didn't have control set up for, so I only have touch screen. I can't use my trackpad, I can't click anything, and I can't browse through anything. So I'm going over to controller settings, and you'll see gamepad with joystick trackpad. I'm gonna go in here and change that over to gamepad with mouse trackpad. That'll allow me to move the mouse around with my right trackpad. Once I do that, I'm then gonna go over into edit layout, and then I'm gonna go down to trackpads because now I want to change my right trackpad to be a left mouse click so that I can scroll around with my thumb on the right trackpad and click once to select things. It makes it really easy when I'm navigating these launchers. So you can see there, 
that's been chosen. Now I can use my trackpad, I can move my mouse around and I can just click it and it'll be like a left mouse click, easy to navigate. You'll probably need to do this for all the launchers you install, but if you run into any trouble, usually you can go in there and just tweak those settings so that you can browse around and then your controller will work as normal in game. But that's pretty much it, guys. A super easy way now with that software to install all of your launchers and with Decky Loader, get all your artwork set up and just kind of manage things a little bit easier. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.